Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, you are going to learn how to create a Quarkus project using MongoDB as database. I have decided to create this video when I read the article inside javachallengers.com creating a simple microservice with Quarkus and MongoDB written by Rafael Del Nero. Let's start and follow my steps. Open Visual Studio Code and create a Quarkus project. Let's put the group Artifact ID and the name of the resource as Night Resource. In the end, select the Quarkus extension that you need. MongoDB with Panache, RestEasy JSONB, Rest easy Jackson and Zmorai Health. Let's now use Docker to start our MongoDB sessions. Now create the Docker Compose YAML file in the root of your Quarkus project with the following information. Put the version 3.7. The service MongoDB container from the image Mongo. Then expose the port 27017. And in the end, specify the volume. Now open the terminal and start a MongoDB session by running the following command in the root of the Quarkus project, docker compose app. Good. Now we are ready. Let's take a look at the pomxml file to see all dependencies that you are going to use. Once you're running a docker MongoDB instance, then you can configure the Quarkus application to connect to it. Inside application.properties, file, add the properties, Quarkus MongoDB connection string, and Quarkus DB database. Let's create a new package called Knight inside the package org.js. Inside this package, create a new Java bin called Knight. This Java bin must extend the Panache Mongo entity and have just two fields, a string name and a string sword name, defined as public. Let's also create both constructors. Then let's create the repository class that will implement the Panache Mongo repository responsible for giving you essential database operations such as create, update, delete, and search elements. Let's call it Ignite repository. Create a new method, find by name. and another one called find order name in order to retrieve all the data with a specific order. Finally, 
Finally, let's create the endpoint to expose your nice service so that you can invoke them via HTTP request. Put the path as Ignites and inject the Ignite repository created before. Now let's create the endpoint to fetch a specific Ignite by ID. In the same way, create the method to get the list of all nights inside the database. After that, the method search in order to put the method find by the name created inside the night repository. Let's continue with the method to add a new knight inside MongoDB using the persist method provided by the knight repository. Before the delete method, you can write the update method where again, you can use the update method provided by the Knight repository. Good. In the end, the delete method where through the ID, you can first find the Ignite inside MongoDB and then you can easily delete it. Now let's run the project in development mode and check your implementation. Good, the server is up and running and listening on the port 8080. Now open Postman to test the endpoints. Let's start with the get. For the moment, you don't have any data, so let's put at least one. Let's send a simple knight with the name and sword name. Good, let's try again the get. Now it's better. As you can see in the response, you have the ID generated by MongoDB. In the end, let's try the delete endpoint. You have learned how to create a Quarkus project using MongoDB as database. The source code of this video you can find it inside my GitHub repository. Feel free to clone it. And don't forget to read the complete article inside the javachallengers.com. For watching this video, subscribe to my channel to be always updated about new videos that I will upload. And see you in the next one. Bye.